Welcome all, this is Techie Snake. In this video I will show you how I made a multi-device charging station for all my commonly used gear on an IKEA pegboard. First, let's have a quick look at how my charging setup looked like before. It was really cluttered and disorganized due to the large number of devices and different types of connections required. This is my iPhone which has a lightning port connection, iPad Pro with a USB Type-C connection, Fitbit charging adapter for my watch, a battery charger for accessories which uses a micro USB or Type-C, another battery charger for the camera with a dedicated power cable, and my Bluetooth speaker and headphones both requiring a micro USB cable. While I search for solutions to make the space clutter free and an efficient charging station, it struck to me that why don't I make use of the IKEA pegboard I had above my desk. The IKEA SCADIS pegboard comes in different sizes and it's very easy to install following the instructions on the manual. Depending on the wall type, you need to drill holes and fix the frame. Then using the provided screws, you just need to hang them on the wall. The good thing about this pegboard is the large hole sizes and the good amount of space that is left behind the pegboard which can be used to hide cables. Once you have the pegboard installed, you need to have some pegboard attachments so you can organize your things based on your requirement. I use the letter holder for my iPad, a shelf to place any cables or accessories, hooks for my Bluetooth speaker and headphones, and these transparent containers with lids for batteries. Once you have the pegboard set, you will need some other materials to build the charging station, starting with a charging hub with multiple ports. You can get any charging hub depending on your requirement. I wanted something low profile and slim, so in my search I found that the Anchor PowerPort Atom 3 Slim was the best one for my needs. Let's do a quick unboxing. It is ultra slim with just 0.7 inch in thickness, weighs only 5 ounces and gives 65 watts of power. It comes with 18 months warranty and has universal compatibility for a lot of devices. I could turn one wall socket into four charging ports with one USB-C and three USB-A connections. There are a variety of colors available and the one I have is with black fabric type of finishing and the build quality feels really premium. The USB-C port provides up to 45 watts of charging capacity. The other USB-A ports provide up to 20 watts. You can charge four devices simultaneously with a total power output of 65 watts. On the other side is a power port where you connect the included power supply cable. Also included is an adhesive strip if you want to stick the hub somewhere. Next you need some accessories such as mobile holder. Such type of holder is great for holding the phone while charging. Some 3M double sided tape or command 3M velcro type strips. The good thing about velcro type strips is that you can remove the device if required for any rearrangement. You could also use tie wraps if necessary to secure your charging hub or any other device cable concealers, raceway and some adhesive hooks for cable management. All your charging cables for all the devices you have and of course a nearby power source to route all the cables towards it. You could also have the extension board on top of your pegboard but I wanted to avoid it to minimize the clutter on the pegboard. Once you have all the items, the first step is to plan the cable route from the pegboard to the power source. Next you need to understand how you're going to organize your devices on the pegboard so they are easily accessible. I made a rough layout on my desk and imagined using it on the pegboard. Just make sure it's practical and accessible. You may also remove the pegboard, lay it on the ground and lay all your devices on top of it to check the most suitable layout. Once the layout is finalized, stick each device with a 3M double sided tape or use the velcro type strip if you want to remove it for any kind of rearrangement. The final step is cable management. I used a combination of raceways and cable concealers to hide the cables running from anchor hub and the battery charger towards the power supply. As I said before, the large holes and the space behind the SCADIS pegboard allows you to route the charging cables behind the pegboard, giving it a very clean look. Use the adhesive clips to organize the cables both behind the pegboard and on top of the pegboard as required. After organizing all the items, this is how it looked. I can charge the phone, iPad, batteries and other devices without making a clutter of cables and mess with lots of devices at one place. Of course, there will be some room for improvement as the list of my devices change, but for now, this has made the charging experience really efficient. That's it for now. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel as it helps me a lot. Also, please comment below if you have any questions. I also plan to install some RGB lights on the pegboard, which I will follow up very soon with another video. See you again.